Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. As you might all know, Slippy has taken the world by storm as the number one source for the online melee experience. But something else that has come out recently is the option to add skins into your own game through different file editors. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now I'm in 20xx as you can see. I'm on long destination which is just FD but uh, really long. And I'm also Goku Fox if you can see. <laughs> Let me get closer to Curvy here. Yeah you can see the design. So, let's get into how to actually pull skins from 20xx and put them onto your standard melee ISO file. So, the thing you're going to need is this program called Dat Texture Wizard. I'll put the link in the description of this video so that you guys can download it. Yeah. So first thing you're gonna do is go up here to file and open disk iso slash gcm and you're gonna locate your 20xx and you're actually gonna need two instances of this one with 20xx and one with vanilla melee just so that it's a little more of a streamlined experience so now what we're going to do is go down to pl underscore dot dot and these are all the textures and animations for all the characters even the sandbag and the master hands yeah everybody's here so let's say we're going to put it like Batman onto Captain Falcon because that's a really fun skin. We want to check which skin it is, which is Captain Falcon's great costume, the left alternate. And it'll be a dot lat file. So when you find the skin you want to use, you're going to click export here. And it's going to want to save it as a dot lat file but you type in dot dat and it tricks it into thinking that it's a dat file so I'm gonna save that export successful and we're gonna go to our vanilla ISO go to the same folder same one and we find the player Captain Falcon Gray. It's the same one, but it's DAT because the vanilla does not have the trigger alternate skins. And when we select this, we're going to click import and open. So now it'll say ready to be replaced in red text on the one you want to replace and pro tip for this you're gonna want to do each skin one at a time just to be safe because if you don't it's gonna create multiple instances of melee and your computer's just gonna get really messy with all the melee ISO files so once you have your skin that you want to use we go back up to file on the vanilla version and do save and wow the save was successful so close out of there and let's hop into vanilla melee on our slippy clients and check out our new skin And would you look at that? 
when we select Captain Falcon's uh, gray costume, we get Batman. There's also a ton of fun ones, like I have Captain America for Bat or <laughs> for Captain Falcon. Uh, I got Spider-Man for Sheik, that one's pretty funny. Master Chief for Samus, I love that one as well. But there's a ton of fun ones. Yeah, a ton of fun ones on 20XX and on other sites like Modulus, which I have never gotten to work ever because the site is so... I don't even know what's up with it actually. It's just... I don't know. It's probably so sketch my computer's just like, nah. But yes, this is how you download skins onto your vanilla melee to use online. But the one thing that you need to know if you want other people to see your own skin is that they have to download that exact same skin onto their version of melee. So I could be Batman, but my friend could be seeing just the normal Grey Falcon. Well, I think that's it for today. I've got some Portal 2 co-op videos that I might upload. I'm still thinking about it, but I thought they'd be pretty fun. Well, please leave a like, subscribe for more Melee content and all that, and I'll see you in the next one.